Hello everyone and welcome to Stardew Valley. We were very fortunate uh, to get a code for this uh, day early so we can properly show this off. And I've never actually played St Stardew Valley. I heard so many great things about it when it first released on the PC. Everybody was talking about it and of course it got its uh, PS4 and Xbox One release. And I held off then because I just had this feeling it was going to be such a better experience and better for me in general to have this on the Switch. And now that day has finally arrived, I am so happy for that. So I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, never touched this game before. I have no idea what it's like other than it's very much like Harvest Moon. And I... Uh, I can't wait to try it out. So hopefully you guys can hear the game just fine. You can hear uh, me just fine. And uh, we can get this whole thing started. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click new. And there we go. All right. First off, we got to make our uh, farmer. Okay, we can turn around. All right. Well, first of all, obviously... Has to have the best name in the world. I'm very simple. <laughs> uh, let's see, what farm? Oh, we are highly unoriginal here. We're at the uh, GX farm. My favorite thing? What is my favorite thing? Hmm. My favorite thing is... We'll go simple. Books. <laughs> I like to read. Animal preference? Oh yeah, we gotta go dog. Alright, now let's actually design ourselves. Alright, there we go. Change our skin color. Quite a few options. We can even go gray. Or pink. <laughs> or blue. Why not? Who cares? Uh, I'm going to go... There we go. That seems pretty right. Um, what's closest to my hair? Like, make yourself look like Chrono from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> That's actually pretty close. Shirt. I'm not going to wear overalls. <laughs> actually, that probably, that one, 16 is probably closest to what I'd actually wear. Actually, no, that looks closest to what I'd actually wear, so 21. Let's see. There's a lot of shirts, at least. Oh my gosh. Is that, like, supposed to be Link? <laughs> that looks really close to Link. And his tunic. Alright. Uh, we'll just go through all the options. Of which there is a lot. I can go, like, classic medieval. There's a ton of options. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap. If you need shirts. Oh, okay, there we go. 112 different shirts. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna go with 21. <laughs> Uh, where was it? There it is. That feels good. Accessory. I don't need, I don't know. No beard, no mustache. <laughs> For a cool guy, sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be boring. Of course, we can change up the color and everything else like that. 
Let's see. Hair color. There we go. That looks pretty good. And pants. We'll go. We'll stick to blue jeans. Oops. All right. And is there a way to get over to that other thing? Oh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, standard farm. Simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. Riverland is several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common. Forest farm. Woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearby is nearly at your doorstep. Uh, let's see. Mining opportunities. Yeah, we're just going to start simple with a standard farm. Don't need to go crazy. All right, let's begin. For my special grandson. Once you have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. When your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Really enjoy the music of this game. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa away at last. Uh oh, we're in Mega Man years. We're in trouble. Joja, join us. Thrive, work, rest. Smile, you're worth Joja. Uh oh. Some guy was terminated. That guy has a snifty cowboy hat. Hey, if a job lets you have a cowboy hat, can't be all bad, right? Gotta love all the... Oh, God. Uh, somebody might, might want to clear out the corpse. Oh, I ended up making my hair a lot more purple than I thought. <laughs> I couldn't tell from the front. Whoops. There we go. Dear Derek, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, G GX Farm. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Well, let's hope he's still alive. Uh, there we go. Fox or yellow, or does it have multiplayer? Uh, no. As far as I know, it does not have multiplayer. I hear that it's supposed to come at some point. But yeah, not yet. But yeah, we're on the bus. Woo! Gotta say, this game looks freaking gorgeous. This is some really good art, uh, sprite work. Ah, Robin. I love how my hair ended up purple. Oh gosh, I have a ponytail! Oh my god! 
I, okay, lesson learned for future, uh, for the future, uh, rotate my character. <laughs> also, my farm needs a little work. Uh, thanks, Robin. <laughs> oh, I gave my... I'm a hipster. I'm a hipster. <laughs> Here we are, your new home. Oh, I got plenty of wood. Hey, there's Lewis. Mayor of Pelican Town. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's exciting. Very rustic. Uh, that's one way to put it. Yep, I totally have a ponytail. Rotate your character, kids. <laughs> Crusty. Rude. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Wait, is she our Tom Nook? <laughs> Get some rest. Okay. Explore town and all that. Neoclassical nerd, the game is too overpriced. It's $15, and from what I can tell, there's a lot of gameplay here, so that does not seem overpriced at all. Alright, we got our box from Harvest Moon. That's good to know. Molly Briggs, how did we get it early? They, uh, we were sent a copy by the developers. They wanted us to be able to check it out and show it off. Yep. All right, just do a bit of saving here. Uh, Callan Robinson, is it like Animal Crossing? No, it's more like uh, Harvest Moon. Be the closest. So, yeah. Yep, we totally have a ponytail. Wow. <laughs> oh well. Hey, we got parsnip seeds. Thanks, Mayor. How's the weather? Eh, yeah, nice and sunny. That's always good. Fortune Teller, Wellwick's Oracle. Huh, well, that's not good. Spirits are not happy. Chop wood and uh, search for the wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first, first harvest. Good to know. Alright, so we got an axe, we got a hoe, we got a watering can, mining, a scythe, and we got parsnips. Alright. So we were, uh, let's, real quick, we'll check, uh, test all these out. So we got our axe. Um, dig until, okay, so B brought up the menu. all my skills everybody wow there's a lot of people I can be social with <laughs> okay uh, the map oh good I needed to know where that sewer pipe was I was worried otherwise <laughs> all right uh, what else we got here crafting need wood for that collections Wow our options, so we have auto run. Okay, some options there. There we go. Why to chop?
we'll cut a few pieces of, we'll break up a few things and, uh, that'll do. Let's see. We'll at least make a little progress before we go into town. <laughs> Oh my, grass is really bad. That tree did not want to come down. All right, we'll clear out this area. All right, so I feel pretty good about this. We got a nice bit of uh, patch to, to start out with. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see, we got 15. Let's go one, two, three, one. Let's see, that's five by three. And we'll just make a little patch right here. Okay, cool. Let's grow out these parsnips. And then we just water them. Yeah, this is definitely one of those just relaxing games. Oops. Something you just take your mind off things, farm, make some progress, all that stuff. Uh, just as a real quick reminder as we finish up our watering, there we are, walk into town with an axe, there's nothing suspicious about that. <laughs> um, oh, okay, we have an energy meter. Okay, there's the bus. Okay, if you push uh, X, you get right into crafting. So I can start making a wood fence. I need 10 wood. Need a lot of wood. And play. Oh, we can even place path. Oh gosh, this is gonna be one of those games. <laughs> um, let's see. But yeah. Uh, let's see. In there. Okay, we're in town. But yeah, uh, we have 630 people watching right now. If you guys are enjoying this and want to see even more from indie games or just maybe even Stardew Valley, I'm not sure how much we'll be covering this or anything like that. But uh, yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully you enjoy our channel. <laughs> ah, the calendar. What's this? Lewis's birthday is on Sunday. Haley's birthday is on the 14th. We got an egg festival already. Vincent's birthday. Man, they have a lot of stuff going on in spring. There's a lot of birthdays. Hello. Gus. The Stardrop Saloon. Cool. And yeah, for those of you who don't know, it, the, the game is releasing tomorrow. Alright, so we can get an energy tonic or a muscle remedy, which we can't afford either. Oh, got to become friends with Harvey in order to enter his bedroom. How about I go behind the desk? Hi, Harvey. A local doctor. Good for you. I guess that's all I can say. All right, well, I'm out of here. Nice talking to you, Harv. Let's go over to Pierre's. Ah, the grocery store. Hello, Abigail. And Marnie. All right, we'll finish talking to Abigail first. Ah, uh, she liked the overgrown fields, huh? Oh, looks like I'm done talking to her. Hold on, don't you go anywhere yet. Sell livestock and animal care products at the ranch. Okay. What about you? We got parsnip seeds. We got a bean starter. 
Uh, four days to mature for the parsnips. That's not too bad. Bean starter. Uh, oh, but they keep producing. Cauliflower seeds. Yep, very much like uh, Harvest Moon. Kale, jazz, sugar, wheat. Oh my goodness. We got flooring. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of... Uh, that's a lot of options. <laughs> We'll uh, hold off on that for now. A backpack upgrade. Can't afford that. We are broke. Hey, Pierre. Okay, he'll buy produce. Alright, wait. What are you? Ah, it's Carolyn. Hello. Ah, he's okay, married. Or she's married. Ah. She's Abigail's mother. And this is Leah. Oh, she's cute. Nice to meet you. Picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. That's exciting. What else we got here? Ah, that's Abigail's bedroom. Their bedroom. Dang! Do they got a church in here? The altar of Yoba. Okay then. Alright, that, ex that exclamation is bothering me. I'm not quite sure how to address it. There we are. Introductions. Oh, okay. So there is a thing that you can do, like, say... Um, okay. Okay, so at least there's at least a bit of some of a guide to go with. A little tips on beans from Magus Andrus, but we're going to hold off and just keep the parsnips for now. I'm kind of slow. Like, I, the only... The only uh, Harvest Moon I ever played was Back to Nature. Uh, on the PlayStation 1. And I enjoyed it, but my... I, I don't know. It, was, it stressed me out a little bit, keeping track of everything. <laughs> hey, Granny. I mean, it's still relaxing and fun, but yeah. Ah, Jody. I already talked to you. Did I talk to Granny enough? Yep, I did. All right, let's go to the Star Drop Saloon. Uh, is there any way to change your hairstyle after starting? If maybe if there's a barber, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I hope so, considering I messed up. <laughs> oh, this is Gus. What do we got back here? Oh, apparently good enough to be in there. Go in there. Let me guess. Gus's room? Yep. I mean, it's already 2.50 at night or in the evening. Afternoon. Whichever. Anyway. Oh, we got a bar, an arcade. Not too bad. Journey of the Prairie King. Oh my gosh, there's little games to play. Money, mine. <laughs> All right, this is pretty adorable. It's high noon. <laughs> Honestly, that is what he looks like. Hold on. There's cash over there. Ooh, and coffee. Coffee and cat. Oh, I died. <laughs> I got too excited by the uh, coffee and cash. <laughs> Ooh, there's a ton of them. Ooh, shotgun. There you are. 
There's a little timer up top, so I'm not sure if that's how long I get to use the shotgun or how long I have to survive. I... It was a trap! It was a total trap! <laughs> Wait, what happened? Did I die, or...? <laughs> I don't know what that did! I'm gonna avoid that for now, because that was weird. <laughs> All right, kill all you guys. Oh, dang. Screen nuke. Okay, it's getting a little hairy right now. Oh, gosh. Stay away. Gotcha. All right, we did it. We can move on. Oh, these guys are adorable. <laughs> they take longer to kill, but they're adorable. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to take care of those when we have the, the chance. They'll be in... Oh, goodness. Oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, that's it. Oh, wait, there's a zero life. Sweet. Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah, coffee makes you... Oh, uh, move faster! Oh my gosh! Cool. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. I want that wheel. I want... Oh, so much for the wheel. Oh, goodness. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, that's a little tricky. That was cool. What's this one? Skull-shaped keyhole. Eh, nah. I don't need any soda. That was fun. So yeah, there's even little extra things that you can do to pass the time. Ah, Maru. Nice to meet you. It's exciting. See, everyone's excited to see us. And this is Emily. works at the saloon. What else do we got here? Super Fashion Girl mag magazine. Oh, somebody's in the fashion. Haley. I don't think we've met Haley yet. Haley and em Emily, roommates. Or mother-daughter? I don't know. Oh, and it is possible to change your hair for, uh, down the line. Okay. According to the chat. Yeah, I honestly don't know much about this game. So, okay. Well, I've already talked to you. Somebody's into a band. Sam. Who's in the music. Alright. And my house is really simple compared to everybody else. There's a lot to explore, including the sewer, which is locked. Ah, you look like a new face. Elliot! Wow! Hello, Fabio! Of course he lives on the beach. <laughs> of course he does. What else we got? That looks like a library, maybe. Gunther. Okay. Archaeological office. Oh. Sure thing. Oh, we need to put a book there, even though there's one flying. <laughs> oh, here we go. A 
again, that part reminds me of Animal Crossing, how you fill out the uh, museum. Okay. Games X, am I going to be making a series out of this, or is this just a one-off? This is mainly just a one-off to show it better, to show it off to everyone. Oh, it's closed. Dang it. Minecart? Oh, out of order. Um, yeah, it's mainly just to show it off. This is something I want to unwind with. Uh, not really plan, don't really plan on making it a series or anything like that. I don't really have the time for it. Oh no, a Joja Mart. Mart. <laughs> How you guys doing? Some wallpaper, cool light. Okay, so you can get seeds from them. I wonder if there's a price difference. Hmm. Morris. Yeah, it feels like this is a place we want to avoid. God, no. So, oh, okay, so we can actually decide to have this place be taken over by the corporate overlords. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Wow. Wow. So you can side with Joja and have them take over the town. That's evil? Maybe a little. Uh-oh, it's 7 o'clock. I should probably start heading home. And there's nothing up this way. Well, I'll try to talk to that person, then I'll head home. Right up here. If I can catch him. Get back here. Oh, I've already talked to you. Never mind. Uh oh, getting dark. And it's locked. Well, we met with four, half the people in the town. That's not bad. Now, how do I get home? <laughs> there we are. Is this the house or... Nope, that's the bus. But we're on the right track. Alright. Well, I will... Oops, not what I meant. Break up a few rocks quick. I'm not sure if it's like Harvest Moon where it's like, hey, you should be in bed by now. Go to bed. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's good enough. Let's go home. There's not really much to do at home, so let's go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, this day game does come out tomorrow. Uh, it'll be... Um... I think it's a fifty. It's going to cost fifteen dollars, which isn't that bad. And yeah, it's a charming little game. You know, not exciting or anything like that. But you can just go at your own pace, do what you want to do, and yeah. All right, waking up at six a.m. Uh, here's the big. Ooh, we got mail. You can go fishing. Alright. Uh, probably should water the plants, though. And the parsnips. Okay. Oh. Got to figure out how to fill up my water, um, my watering pic pitcher. And there's some water down there, so hopefully that'll do the trick. Just need a clear path to it. Out of the way. All right. 
There we go. I was right. Sweet. Alright, we gotta get there before five. Let's get rid of this stump, though. Oh, well, never mind. That stump is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Oh, nice. It actually... Ooh, frog! Oh, frog left. <laughs> I might have spent way too much time in Harvest Moon back in the day just uh, clearing out everything. It always drove me nuts having a big mess like this. <laughs> it's like, come on, you gotta have, you gotta have your place look good. You're not going to impress anybody that without a good-looking farm? Uh, there we are. Get rid of all of this, at least. There we are. At least it's really easy to swap between everything. Uh, let's see. Break you up. There we go. Not too bad. Kishi, how does it run FPS-wise? I'm very bad to ask about that, but as far as I know, it seems... I mean, I'm not noticing any slowdown. It's probably just a 30 FPS game, which is really all, all you need for something like this. Anyway, uh, we have our little assignment, plus we still got to meet up with other people. Uh, real quick though, we can make a gate, fence, wood path, a campfire. Let's... Let's make a wooden path. <laughs> Why not? Do something to make this place look a little nicer. Well, kinda. There we go. Have a nice little path for the mayor there. Is it, it 60? Okay. Let's head to the beach. Anybody new? Emily. Ah, okay, here we go. Jody, my husband Kent is a soldier working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. And hey, he'll come back. Alright, at least we met somebody new. Let's go find Willie, though. There's Marnie again. Keep heading down. This should be the way to the beach. Uh, go into options and turn on hitbox things? Okay. I'll make sure to do that next, uh, after this scene. Ah, Willy. Crusty old sailor. <laughs> hey, sold a lot of good fish. That's good. Probably. Yay, we can fish now. Got a bamboo pole. We can start fishing. All kinds of fish to catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> I don't know if you want your fish to smell. 
Oh, thanks, Willie. Does he only have one eye? There we are. Let's fish. Oh, there's a bit of a cast to it. I look so bored. Hey, I hit. Uh... I didn't understand that at all. Let me try that again. <laughs> I completely messed that up. <laughs> Come on, catch something. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh, this is weird. Okay. I see now. Okay, that was actually a good thing. Yay, I got a sardine! <laughs> Everybody loves sardines, right? I was looking at the chat and I heard felt the vibration. Alright, come on. You can give me something. There we go. That's Wow, that's surprisingly tough. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with that. F fishing's hard, guys. Sardines are tough to catch. All right, we're going to try one more time. I want to have multiple fish. Oh, stay in there. Oh, gosh. Stay in there. Stay on target. Oh, stay on target. There we go. Gotcha. And another sardine. <laughs> well, let's see how much we get for sardines. <laughs> I think we already have a bamboo pole. Trout soup. Okay. Alright. Hey, 80 gold for each one. I'll take that. Alright. Well, that's Willy. Let's check out more of the beach. I'm assuming as we get better fishing poles, we'll get stuff better than sardines. We're kind of stuck with Magikarp at the moment. <laughs> Beach looks like it's a little bit of rough shape. Sure, I'll take a random clam and a mussel. I'm guessing I can sell these. What's this? Ah, I could fix this with 300 pieces of wood. We need to get chopping. Okay, so that's where Elliot lives. Uh, yeah. Let's... Ooh, that's somebody new, I think. Ah, this is Sam. Good to meet you. And you have don't have much to say. Hey, kids! New people to talk to. Vincent. But you seem okay. <laughs> Jazz. Hello. Okay. And Penny. Okay, so we got the sweet school teacher. Uh, let me check the map.
Wow, there is a... Oh, okay, this is the center of town. Yeah, let's head north. Okay, so it's not as, quite as big as it seems. Matt made it seem a lot bigger. Uh, we don't want to help out with that. Ooh, person. Social interaction. Oh, she's not in a good mood. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm going. I'm leaving. Wait, that's right. We went up there before and we didn't find anything. You're new too. Hello. Pam, you look a little wild. Uh, try not to be. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, just another quick reminder. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, go ahead and be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and check out more of what we do. We generally do uh, Nintendo games and uh, we also uh, do a lot of uh, just... I enjoy doing streams, <laughs> uh, streams in general, check out new games, uh, try see what they're all about, all that good stuff. I uh, can also give items as presents, but well, I don't think I have any items that are really make good presents at the moment. Ah, another new face. Demetrius. Local scientist. Maru. Have we met Maru? I don't know if we've met Maru. Ooh, he has a telescope. Fancy. Alright. Is this the carpenter place? I assume so. There's his laboratory. How am I supposed to be good friends with Sebastian when he's locked in his room? <laughs> Alright, well. Guess we'll just keep going. Wait, I think that is Mar Maru. Hello. Alright, well that's all you have to say. Alright, cool. Okay. Ah, old guy by the fire. Perfect. Linus. Uh, okay. Good for you. Let's see what we can fish up over around here. Oh, wait. Another guy mining. Uh, can I help? I don't think I'm helping. Hey, there's Sebastian. Cool. <laughs> there's something. Right. Oh. There's no way over to that guy. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see what we can catch in here. Yay! Stick! Uh... Oh, I gotta toss it. Gonna need that bigger bag, that's for sure. Anyway, probably should head home. <clears throat> uh, picky gamer, how long will the stream be? Uh, I'll probably only go for another 10 minutes or so. I mean, it's hard to really show off a lot from the beginning of this, but as of right now, I mean, this is a very... It's basically what I thought it was going to be. It's a very chill game that you can just while away the hours in, making little, making little progress as you go along. Um, and you can just set out and do whatever you want and still do all right. Uh, where am I? Okay. Uh, 
Okay. My home or is this another farm? Where did I end up? <laughs> Oh no, I am on the GX farm. Okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Need to get through here. I guess I gotta go this way. Man. Okay, this is a big farm, but also there's really not a lot. There's a lot to take care of. Holy crap. Uh, in the meantime, I'm pretty sure I can deposit these. Let's hopefully get some cash out of that. What else do we have here? Uh, oh, coal. Crafting and smelting. Alright. Let's go in here and... I don't have anything to store these things with. Man, I need to start making some per... I need to start, uh... <laughs> making some, uh, cash to get some better stuff. Hey, sweet! Got 130 gold out of that. Is there online? Not as far as I know. All right, the hitbox option. Sorry, I completely forgot after talking to Willie. Uh, I've seen some people ask if the the, the touch screen works. Uh, I have not, I've obviously not had a chance to test that, and I can't test it during the stream. Um, real quick, let's go into options. Turn on those indicators. And hey, it's raining. Sweet. I always loved rainy days in Harvest Moon. First things first, I want a bigger bag. Probably should buy some more seeds as well. Oh, a chest. Oh, here's what we need to do. We need to get some wood so we can make a chest. That's my goal right now. Cut you up. Hopefully we can find enough of these that we can get ourselves a chest. Nothing like working out in the rain. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. There we are. Uh, what's in the cave? Nothing from what I can tell. Alright. Wait, can I actually... Really? I can cut down the trees, but I can't get rid of a stump. I guess that makes sense. Wait for my return on the... D oh, so Grandpa isn't dead? Okay. That's cool. Ooh, got a geode? Oh, sweet. So we'll want to go to the blacksmith for that. All kinds of hit all all kinds of goodies to find. Alright. At 34. So much to break up. There we are. Crack you open. 
Ah, you can fight mo mo uh, monsters later on. Yeah, I was aware of that. That you could eventually fight monsters. Really, you can do whatever you want in this game. Just, uh, whether it's social or just concentrating on the farm or whatever. 46. 47. There we did. There we go. Finally got our chest. Let's go place that in the house. Um, yeah, next to the fireplace we find. Ah, there we go. Much better. Now we're in good shape. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, up to 710 gold. We're making progress on that. We can hopefully buy some seeds at some point. But yeah. I think that's a good place to call it. Oh, place it outside? Oh. Yeah, obviously this there's a, there's a learning curve here about finding out what's most efficient to do and what should be done and all that. So, you know. All right. Keep an eye out for that. But yeah, this is Stardew Valley, and man, this town needs cleaned up like crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I want to get through. Fine. I'll get out of your way. There's somebody else I can talk to. Oh, this is Penny. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, so yeah, that is Stardew Valley. It is uh, a very charming game. Uh, I mean, obviously not for everybody if you're not into the, just the day-to-day -day stuff, but I can just see this as a great way to unwind and um, just, I don't know, see, you see, what it, see what it is to see. Do what you want. All that good stuff. I'm probably going to start a new file just so I have a character that I actually uh, like the look of because I screwed up my hair. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's definitely a lot to see and explore and do. And lots of interactions too. Just tons of characters. Well, not, not a ton of characters, but plenty of characters and things to take a look at. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to be uh, staying with. It's just a matter of learning where to go, what to do, and what should be done. Uh, which, you know, makes for a lot of uh, I don't know. Fun possibilities. Ah, there's the community center. Where the heck's the blacksmith, out of curiosity? Oh, we never made it to the ranch. That was south. The heck is the frickin'... I guess we just have to find it. Ah, there's the blacksmith. Bottom right. And the mayor's manor. Okay. Map is a good map is your friend, everybody. But yeah, this has just been a quick look at um, at uh, Stardew Valley on the Switch. Uh, I think it looks beautiful. I think it's going to uh, play very well. And uh, for those of you who are uh, curious about whether the touch screen and how it works or if it works and all that, I'll test it out after the stream and post it in the uh, comments for the eventual. Uh, uploaded this so yeah look out for that and of course uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here thank you guys for watching and of course uh, be sh uh, and of course stay tuned for even more uh, from game explain 
whether or not it's uh, indie games, Nintendo, big Nintendo titles like uh, Super Mario Odyssey and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and other things gaming as well. All right, guys. Bye.